Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, my dear Pascal colleagues, uh, another lecture on my reflection from Rank 2023, and this lecture is on uh, one of the very nice cases on lithotripsy uh, in iliac artery disease. Uh, one of the very important things at Link meeting is it collaborate with a lot of vascular meeting. One of them is Viva from United States under um, Peter Schneider. Um, Link is always very uh, great source of the uh, vascular knowledge. It's very important to see new devices, and I will try to summarize what I have learned new. Now, as we have mentioned, uh, Link collaborate with the Charing Cross with uh, multiple uh, meeting with Frank Vies, with Piva, with Sirs, all of them have a dedicated session and in all of them they try to present what they have offered at their peak so this is a case uh, uh, peter schneider was a moderator but it was uh, performed in the in heart and vascular institutes in denver colorado from united states by professor erin armstrong uh, one of the uh, important uh, vascular intervention in the United States. He has basically a clodican patient and he is using quite a standard procedure which is intravascular lithotripsy or IVL. Now, the patient history is a 75 year old man with peripheral arterial disease um, and he is a clodican. He's not a CLTI patient. He had an occluded left external iliac in 2020, which is about four years ago or three years ago. He underwent successful intervention and placement of self expandable stent, which was VBX, uh, via band VBX. Uh, he had a moderate disease on the right hand side and he started to have a critical limb ischemia. Um, and now he, his right leg has severe qualification and his left leg he has uh, rest pain. The duplex examination showed a monophasic signal, right common femoral artery, no focal stenosis in the right uh, SFA or TPN. Left to common femoral artery shows something very peculiar, very specific for, for high grade stenosis where you get peak systolic velocity of 456 centimeters per second which we will see in the angiogram. Note here that he has a via band VBX stent three years ago. This is the angiogram, this patient. And as you can see here, he is a disease iliac vessel. You can see he's very calcified. Note, internal iliac is already occluded. And this is very nice, beautiful picture of three years follow up after via band left common iliac artery. It really looks solidly good. That's why uh, a lot of American interventions prefer to use cover stent. It costs a lot, but longer term patency is, is very good. You can see here a little bit of dissection in that area. But why he gets critical limb ischemia in this? And this is the reason. Lesion in the common femoral artery, around 90% lesion with plaque. The SFA, the profunda, and a common femoral artery looks. So uh, this is the angio on table, which has performed it. You notice that he has a 3 centimeter, 3.5 centimeter aortic aneurysm, which is a state. So don't worry about internal illness. Why? When you are crossing from one side to the other. Notice he also have an operation of a spinal fusion. And this is the plate screws used in the spine. And he has left VBX. One of the standard procedures, because before you do anything, is intravascular ultrasound. IVIS map, of course, intravascular ultrasound presented like this with an IVIS catheter, and he goes from the aorta until the common femoral artery. And this is the calcification across the way. It always been shown as a fill. So you see this fill. This is a calcification in the artery, heavily calcified, nearly. He might say 275%, in some cases it's 360, in some cases calcification is less. Then it goes into narrow part with the plaque, and you can see a very stenotic part of the iliac artery. And then you go further down, 
and then you can see the amount of narrowing and the atherometer is black with the calcification. So IBIS catheter in IVL is quite standard and that is why the cost of this procedure is really quite high. So this is IBIS, this patient on the right side. Now, this is the balloon, IVL balloon, which uh, he have used the new catheter called M5, which is 7 millimeter catheter and have rapid shots, rapid shots of lithotripsy into the iliac artery. And duplex guided puncture is routine for common femoral artery. You don't do puncture blindly because you must go through the 12 o'clock. Uh, optimal micropuncture set and then you change it to normal uh, femoral cheese. Inflate at low pressure, 8, 10 atmospheric, and then you start the cycle of lithotripsy. Uh, M5 catheter delivered two pulses per second. That is why it's very quick. It cuts a shorten the time. And you don't inflate the balloon quite high. He used two cycle. You can see a little bit of plaque there. And with two cycle, uh, you actually fracture the the plaque, the calcified plaque in the wall. And then you deflate the balloon between the two cycles. And this is very important to wash out all the debris in between. Um, here is the second cycle. And here is the angiogram after the second cycle. Beautiful effect, of course. You can see the calcification there. You can see a little bit of dissection here, dissection there. And this is a good, uh, is a good way of doing uh, lesion preparation in order to put a cover distant. Uh, the balloon get more inflated up to 15 atmospheric after the second cycle. And then uh, you can do another IVIS, another look with an IVIS to make sure everything is all right. And then you cover the stent uh, with VBX stent. Now this approach, although it is expensive because the lithotripsy caster is around two thousand US dollar, the IBIS catheter is another two thousand US dollar, and maybe you can use filter devices which is another five hundred dollars. Uh, so it's quite expensive. But it seems that IVL plaque modification for stent expansion seemed to work well. At least in the iliac part, we know it worked very well. In the evidence is on the other side, it's been working for three years. Now, this is internal iliac artery. Notice that it is occluded, it's not there anymore. And this is external iliac uh, artery. And he went to 12 atmospheric after the lysotripsy. And this is a picture after 12 atmospheric. Much nicer, more smooth wall, but still a little bit of anti-grade dissection here. So uh, this is the end result from the right side. Now he went into the left common femoral artery side again with an IVL caster. But this lesion, uh, as you can see, it's a plaque protrusion. So this needs uh, to have a selectomy device. He used a selectomy device to use it. And uh, he used the uh, orbital atherectomy device, which is called the stealth. You can see this is a stealth device, and you have the spinning, and you go over this area two or three times in order to get the plaque out in multiple uh, angulation. Some people put uh, spider filter in distal SFA, but uh, if it is such a small lesion, uh, you can get away without the filter. He actually did not put the filter in this case. Uh, he used the stilts 360 orbital hysterectomy device. He did not use IBC filter. And this is a picture after the balloon uh, and plus to using IVL balloon. And uh, he uses uh, 8 millimeters, 8 millimeter by uh, uh, 3 centimeter balloon to come from the artery. This balloon has six electrodes. And it is designed for iliac uh, IVL, and uh, he already have used it uh, out of instruction to use IVU. He used this not, not for iliac but for common femoral arch. And the end result is good, spectacular on both sides. So I will give you just a short video about uh, the shock wave lithotripsy, which is a standard approach nowadays. It's one solution. The shockwave intravascular lithotripsy system creates pulsatile sonic pressure waves. This is a caster. This is a balloon.
When the waves impact the calcium at nearly 50 atmospheres, they create a series of microfractures. It causes a series of microfractures. And trauma to the surrounding so gradually, alone, gradually, the vessel becomes more complex. And laser preparation Once becomes the much better. Has been completed, the operator can proceed with the preferred treatment strategy to optimize outcomes. So this is IVL uh, that is being used. Now, listen, I have learned it in this case is a calcified iliac lesion uh, IVL with uh, IVS seems to be essential tools. Acerectomy devices is needed more and more. We'll see more of acerectomy devices. Uh, Stilts is more like rotablator, which was been used by long ago by the cardiologist. And the cost of peripheral intervention seems to be going up with the new technology. IVS and arterial seem to play a major role, especially in calcified vessel where it will detect how much calcification, how it looks like, and this is important before IV. Uh, I hope I have um, transferred to you what I have learned from Link 2023, and this is a summary of one of the cases presented, and uh, I hope it is of benefit to all of you. If you have any comment, please put it on the comment section of the video, and thank you very much.